Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Spyro the Dragon 2, Ripto's Rage. Last time we made our way into this winter area, winter tundra, winter tundra, uh, and we learnt a new move, which is Gumbella's Head Bonk, there we go. It's actually called Head Bash, but you know, close enough. Uh, and then I said, next video we'll be going back to Autumn Plains to get the stuff we missed that required this move. So now we have this move, let's go back to Autumn Plains. Um, yeah. Oop. <laughs> I believe there's a couple of orbs we can get in the overworld, and there's also a couple of things we can do in some of the stages. Uh, we should be able to get that all done in this just one quick video, and then we can proceed to actually do Winter Tundra in probably the next video. So, yeah, the loading times in this game are a little questionable. I don't know, it seems quite long, and I don't think it was this bad in the original PS1 version of these games. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so here we are in Autumn Plains. I'm not quite sure where we need to go exactly, but you can see we're still missing a lot of treasure and orbs here in the overworld, so now that we have these extra abilities, let's have a look around and see what we can find. Okay, so there's Scorch. There doesn't really seem to be a whole lot of stuff lying around. There's, a, there's an orb in Fracture Hills we can get now that we couldn't before, so we will be getting that. Um, I'm not sure, maybe behind here there's something? No. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Okay, Sparks are circling in that direction. So I guess I'll head that basic direction and see what I can find. Um, I think, I think I want to go around here. I'm not really sure. It is a little vague as a treat. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's the speedway over there. I don't want to go to that. Speedways suck. Okay, Spark is circling into the wall now. Hmm. Uh, we don't want to do the boss battle again. Okay, no, it's above where we are, so I've gone down and I shouldn't have, so that's awesome. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't know, that the layout of this, this uh, hub world is a bit underwhelming, I would say. Um, oh, something out there? No. Oh, oh no. Uh, now I'm going to have to reignite, don't I? I? I don't understand why it has this long... Oh, it wasn't that long. I don't understand why it has a load time at all when you fall down a hole, though. It shouldn't need to reload anything. Hmm. Okay, so there's stuff around here somewhere. No, no, it's back that way. Is it above? Like, is it on top of that wall, maybe? I, I don't know how we get up there, though. Hmm. I am a little confused. <laughs> there's a twirl over here. Where does this go? Okay, that goes to another speedway. I don't want to do any speedways. Can I get into that wall? No, no, apparently not. Hmm. Well, I'm confused. How about you? Yeah, this is where I came in. Let's just climb back up here and have a look around. What if we go this direction? Nothing? Hmm. Yeah, climbing is a weird addition to the game as something you have to unlock. Like, head bonking and swimming underwater sort of makes sense, but I don't understand why Spyro needs to unlock climbing. Like, head bonking is actually a new ability, so having to unlock it makes sense. Not so much the other ones. <laughs> um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm very confused about what it actually wants me to do here. I, I can't see anything that looks like a rock I can break open. Uh, otherwise I'd just be, you know, head monking that spot and getting stuff. Um, but I can't see anything that looks like that. So, 
That's confusing. Maybe I can climb to that wall. Hang on. Oop. No, 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 no. That didn't work. Hmm. Maybe I'll just go into the level and do that first and then come back and see what I can find out in the overworld again. Hmm. Because, yeah, I haven't played enough of this game to know where to go for everything. Like with uh, Spyro 1, where I'm familiar with basically the whole game. Okay, Fracture Hills here. I believe the game actually told me you need to have head bonking to do the leftover orb here. So let's go ahead and do it, because I can head bonk. And that hopefully will help us figure out what we're supposed to do in the overworld. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, uh, we've already seen this cutscene, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think this is played before. I think this is the same one that plays the first time you visit. Hmm. Anyway. Alright, well, we're back. Um, I can see a little circle on the map. I assume that's the orb we haven't got yet. Where is that? This direction? Okay, it's over there. Hmm. I can't really remember. <laughs> um... I know we had to like supercharge along here before, but I can't remember why that was either. Something to do with those gates, I think. Now, and then you could do a, a jump there. Yeah, I think I need to maybe do that again to get into the right area. Um, that's scary. It seems to have reset the number of enemies, so I might need to have killed some more enemies to get the power up to work again, which is annoying. Um, I thought the beehive doesn't attack you or anything, and got dropped out of the tree. As much sense as that would make. Like, it's got bees in it, I would assume. Hmm. Okay, so the- whoops. down there. Right? Yeah, and it needs 14. My goodness. Are you? Can I skip this? No. I might actually need to free them all to unlock the middle area again. I think that might be where I need to be. Hmm. It's just some questionable design because it's impossible to have the the head bash move when you come here for the first time, which means you would have to redo all of this. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I already did that. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Hmm. 
I'm kind of hoping I've just misunderstood what you're supposed to do, but that would also mean a problem because you're not really telegraphing what I'm supposed to do very well either. Hmm. Which combined with the fact that it resets parts of the level when you leave, it doesn't work out so well. I'm pretty sure I meant to get back in there. Um, it's great to be okay, so that'll let me back into the middle part. <sighs> Those guys have some sort of tracking of my movement. They somehow can figure out where I'm going to be. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um... Hmm. Forget how to get into the temple. It's been quite some time since I was here. Um, partly because I don't record particular games too often, and just partly because reasons. Um, well, I already got the thing from you. Is there something else in here I'm supposed to be doing? Maybe? I don't know. Doesn't look like I needed to open this part, so that's annoying. Um, I think I need to use this supercharge thing again with some different destinations and whatever. So I need to probably find some more baddies that I can defeat without supercharging. Uh, hopefully there's more of them. I mean, there must be, because you can't kill those guys without supercharging and there aren't enough things to supercharge in the areas I've looked at, so... Experiment with a new potion. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, okay, so Hunter is uh over there, right? Yeah. Stand still, he says. I'll turn your boots to gold, he says. Oh, maybe I need to do both quests in a row. Um Yeah, I think I might need to redo this in order to get free Hunter and then do the other quest for him. God I hope not. Hmm. How much treasure did we have here? Not all of it. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, because I can't kill those guys without supercharging. Uh, because they're made of rock or whatever. And rock is unbreakable. And they only have ten other enemies, so there must be some more around. Hmm. Can you say I'm frustrated? Can you hear that I'm frustrated? Because, yeah, I am, I am frustrated. I don't like this design. Um, it's not good. Like, if you're going to force me to backtrack to the level, please don't make me redo everything in the level. When I come back. Bold of you to assume everything the level has to offer is interesting. Okay, those are all the shrubs, I think. How many do I have now? 12. I need 14, so there must be some more somewhere. Um. Oops. Hmm. <sighs> Game design. This game is not actually that great. Sparrow 1 is better. <laughs> oh dear. I 
I don't like having to say that. I like to like things, but there are problems with this game. And I am finding them by attempting to play this game. And that makes me a bit sad. And I cannot find any more shrubs that, that I can kill with fire. And you can't kill these guys because you need supercharging and you can't get supercharging until you kill them, kill enough people, so... Um... What am I doing? <sighs> Seriously, what? Take 14. And that gives you supercharge when you go through it, but you need 14. Uh, enemies already defeated to do that. And I only have 12. Do I need to do the alchemist junk first? I really hope not. Because <sighs> escort missions are boring. And can I go through there? Okay, let's escort hunt escort the alchemist to hunter. Fine. I have already done this and I got an orb for it, so good for me. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh yeah, and then this guy just walks in a really weird pattern because he's a jerk. Why are you going this way? Walk in a straight line. He's right over there. You go so much faster. Oh my god. Seriously, why did they design it like this? It's so annoying. <sighs> okay, Hunter's got his feet back. Okay, then he gives me an orb that I already have. Right? As long as you're here, would yeah. you like to help me? No. Okay. As long as you're here. Sure. Alright. When I shoot an earth shape, Oh, I can headbash them. Okay. He gets back up. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's what I have to do. I have to redo the escort mission, because of course I do. And then I need to chase Hunter around. He'll shoot them, which will knock him down, then I can jump on him and use head bash. Okay. I have no idea if I can fail this or not. Yep, I can fail this. If they get back up, it's game over. Because Hunter has no more arrows. Oh, oh, I hate this. Seriously, that makes no sense. You should just be able to shoot them again. Just knock them back down. He clearly has enough arrows to shoot them more than once because he can shoot more than one of them. Also, yeah, these things are horrible to stand on. Oh my god. Should I just call this video game design is hard? Because, yeah. They intend to design it so that that one gets launched up onto a platform when he's shot because it's, it's really weird. It's like super off-putting. And yeah, the controls for head bashing are real bad too. To do fast, I mean. Like, it's fine with normal rocks, but when you're trying to take out these guys before they get up, which apparently is just dooms you forever, yeah, it's bad. Oh my god. 
<sighs> I don't get it. How did they remake this game and not realize that this sucks? <sighs> it's not fun. It's it's bad and ungood. <sighs> And like, Hunter could just wait until you're nearby before shooting them, like... Uh, he's creating this obnoxious time limit for no reason. We make a great team! Here, I was gonna give this to the Alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. He did free your legs. Okay, well, that's done. Uh, that was not fun. Um, we still need to find some treasure, though. So let's go have a look. I think we can use the trip, the supercharge now because we took out those earth shapers or whatever. Yes. Okay. Uh... <sighs> Another thing, this was also better in Spyro 1, like, you had to do some really tricky stuff with supercharging, but it, it was better, it was more fun. Here, it's, it's less fun. Uh, I think I just need to supercharge along the whole path, so... Yay! Hmm... Okay, well I did that again, but that didn't get me any treasure. It's free now, you're welcome. Um, I think it's something I can break with a supercharge, but I don't know where. Oh, it's over there, okay. Um, I might be able to just head bonk that, actually. Let's see. No. Okay, hmm. So I guess I, I don't think I can supercharge into this little tiny tunnel. Like, it's such a weird angle. Hmm. This is where the rest of the treasure is, though. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can try, but I don't like my chances of squeezing into that hole while going real fast. So, let's see. I wonder if letting you, like, dr like uh, rail switch would help. Like, you tap a screen and you dart to the side without, like, strafing. Um, like in lots of Sonic games. Seriously? Supercharging doesn't kill these guys. Hmm. Okay, let me let me just try to figure out the route first. So you would fly through there. Um. Didn't I kill all of you? Uh, I hate them. I don't like this level at all. It's just really obnoxious. Jerk. Hmm. Right, I killed the ones out here, but this level is completely full of invincible monsters because that's really fun. See, I was supercharging. A supercharge should defeat those guys. There is no reason that it doesn't. Like, you can't do the quest that he wants you to do with the head bashing if you kill them, but who cares? As far as I can tell, you can't get the supercharge properly. Unless you've already killed them, so I don't care. <sighs> Whatever.
Oh no! Okay, I think I can do that. It's just really hard. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh right, fire kills these guys. I forgot about that. Okay, so you can kill them with fire. You can't kill them with supercharge though, and you should be able to. Okay, here we go. Supercharge. Okay, and then we... Oh, uh, stay on the stone path. Yes, yes, yes. And then jump in here. Yes! Oh. <gasps> oh, that was exhilarating. Oh, wow. That feeling. <laughs> okay, that made it worth it. Oh, wow. That, that was fun. The, tre the treasure part was fun. The last orb quest was not fun. The treasure was fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, um, we're just gonna go over here and... I think we want to go to the exit now, so that's... I think it's that bridge, right? Oh my goodness. And then we need to look around in the overworld a bit more, see what we can find. Hopefully we can track down the stuff that's left over, because I don't know what they could be. Uh, hello. Uh, yeah, she gives me that, which I already had, but that's alright. Then I can leave. Okay, we got all the treasure. Yeah, skip, 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 skip. Okay, you can skip that, that's good. Okay. <sighs> but yeah, you see, the orb quest was not fun. And the treasure run, which is the sort of thing you did in Spyro 1, which was full of, like, tricky supercharged stunts you had to do, was really fun. It felt amazing. Oh gosh. When I finally pulled that off, it's just, whoa, so much adrenaline, so much, oh wow. It's just, it's just a questionable change in the second game, I guess. So where do we need to go next? It's indicating that direction. Like through this wall, sort of. Um. Hmm. Now it's saying to go up. Hmm. If I keep going this way, I'll go down, right? Sparks, where are you? I can hear you. Did I, did I lose you? Oh no, you're telling me to go directly upwards. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, well these are all lower down parts of this area, so let's backtrack to where the stairs are. Climb ourselves up a bit and see if there's maybe another, like a branching path or something that I didn't notice. Well now you're saying to go down that way, so... But I can see another sort of area looking place. Um, hmm. What am I missing? Can I get on that thingy if I... Yes, I can. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, can I then go into that wall or will it not let me? I don't really know what to expect. Um, let's head to the next one over. Okay, we can get to here. Okay, there's some gems. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> okay, we can get up here. Grab these gems. Um, we can keep going along this wall. There's probably more gems. Maybe at the other end. Okay, there's something up there too. But that is an orb. How am I gonna get that? That looks incredibly difficult. Hmm. I'm gonna need more height to glide my way there. Let's see if I can find some. Unless I can just jump on this piece. Is that high enough? It doesn't look like it. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, no. Not quite. That was really close, though. Maybe that is what I'm supposed to do, but better? Or maybe I'm supposed to do something else. Hmm. I don't think head monking really helps me here. It's 
part of the confusion, really. At least as far as I can tell, like, head bonking isn't gonna help me. Um, can I get up there from Zephyr? Because I can reach Zephyr pretty easily. Or maybe from here? Uh, let's see where this goes. Yeah, I can get up here, and then I can probably... Yeah, flutter over to there. Okay. So it is easier to get up here than I thought. Um, oh, hello. I know those are the same gems that I was already looking at. Uh, this one looks closer. Let's try it from here. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, that was very close. I kind of wish there wasn't a loading screen every time you died. That would be great. Big fan of not having loading screens every time you die. <laughs> um, and yeah, one of the orbs is up here too, so obviously I'm supposed to go up here, but... How? Um, this one's got to be the closest, right? Um, if I get on top of Zephyr, that would help, but I don't think I can get on top of Zephyr. I don't think it's got any more... There's any way, any way to get more height and climb up there. Yep, okay, I can get to here. Uh, what do I do from here? Because that's too high. Um... I'm confused. I, I cannot get that high. There is no ability in my tool chest that will allow me to gain that bit of height. Um... Is there another one I'm missing? Like, does the fourth world give you some sort of double jump ability? Does this game have a fourth world? I got the impression it didn't, but maybe it does. Let's look it up. Spyro 2 Worlds. Three. Yeah, three home worlds. That's what I thought. So what am I missing here? The swimming, climbing, head bash. Yep, they're the only ones that you get. Um... Hmm... Planes? Misleading? Harley made of planes? Yeah, it doesn't look like a plane at all. That's true. <laughs> I'm looking at the wiki right now. Uh, let me see. I can unlock some speedways and stuff. Unlock when you purchase the climbing ability. Yep, yep. Uh, orbs required to unlock those. Well, I've got all the orbs from the game so far, so that's fine. To have two speedway walls. Water learning on the path led to the orb inside the, inside the castle wall. Interesting. There's one called Long Glide and one called End of the Castle Wall, so... I'm guessing the Long Glide one is that one that I was just trying to reach. Inside the Castle Wall. Maybe there's an opening somewhere I can squeeze in. And tunnel my way along or something. It might be in the other part of the Castle Wall though, like the second area. Hmm. There's nothing back there. What if I... Hmm. Because, yeah, there's no way to gain more height in this area beyond as high as this goes, basically. And that always faces you that way. Unless I'm missing something. Can I... Get it to go the other way? No. Because... It does give you a bit more height than it, than you need, so it might have gotten you on top of Zephyr with enough, but I don't think it's enough. Um, hmm. 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 So yeah, there's only three worlds. There aren't any more abilities you can unlock besides the three I've already got, so... 
There must be a way to do what I'm trying to do that I'm missing. Um, yeah, Laura can take you to a portal, doesn't it? Take the challenge, Portal to Zephyr, yeah, I've done that. Uh, Homeworld Vortices, yep. Across the grounds near the boss, yep, 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 yep. Ladders. Jumping up ladders is faster, yep. Uh, they're using screenshots from Reignited, by the way, for this screen, this, um, walks where I'm looking at, even though it's not actually for Reignited, which is interesting. Uh, I see Speedway. Autumn Plains, Talismans. Okay, Orb 2, Long Glide. Talisman. Oh. Oh, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. So there's something su suspicious about one of the walls uh, around here. I think it might be this one? No? Um. Hmm. Aha! Okay. <laughs> then you go through here, and that gets you some more height, and there's a bunch of gems out here we can get. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. It's actually, in the original version of the game, it's cracked rather than having that look. Like, it looks more breakable, apparently. Uh, but it looks like just exposed brick in this game, which isn't necessarily breakable, so... That's my excuse. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna hit this whirlwind. It's gonna give us a bunch more height. A bunch more height, wow. Okay, uh, and from here we should be able to glide over there without any trouble because we're like super high up. Oh my goodness. I'm um, just actually missed a gem down there, so I'm just gonna... Good thing this game has no fall damage. It's kind of weird that you don't like break your legs when you fall really far. Like in Odyssey where you momentarily break your legs and then they heal when you fall really far, even though there's no actual fall damage. Uh, I think Odyssey actually just doesn't have fall damage rather than having you break your legs, really, but, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, then you do a long glide. So you glide all the way from there over to the orb, all the way over there. Like so, yeah! And that'd be long glide, yeah. Okay, okay, we're doing we're doing fine. We're doing good. We've got all the treasure. We still need. Oops. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well we have all the treasure and we have the orb. We just grab the other orb and then we should be done with autumn plains. And it only took a little bit longer than I anticipated. Oh yeah, there is a checkpoint here too. That fairy Zaptus. So we respawn up here, which is kind of weird. Okay, I think the other one. I'm guessing it's inside the castle somewhere because the name. I'm seeing on the guides and stuff is inside the castle wall. Oh yeah, I see. It's bricked up from this side now. We smash it down. There we go. There we go. Okay. So yeah, Summer Forest is done. We'll get to Winter Tundra in a little bit, but not just yet. <laughs> um, that's orb number two, according to this. Orb number one. Maybe they, got, maybe they changed the order. Yeah, they did. Interesting. Okay, so, uh, there is another suspicious wall. Oh, I think I already did that. Hang on. Yeah, that's that's the wall I went on already that had those two yellow gems. Yeah, I was supposed to charge a wall up there too, for the same reason. I think I need to be a bit more observant of the walls. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, uh, yeah, let's jump this way, jump this way. You don't need to do it like this, it's probably easier to go from Zephyr or to use the speedway to get up there, but you can also do it this way if you want. So yeah, this end is a regular sort of wall. Nope, no, that was a breakable wall. Okay, I thought it was a regular wall. Okay. <laughs> um, so I think, I think I'm not good at observing when walls are breakable in this game because I charged a wall expecting it not to break and it broke. I thought I'd have to go to the other end, over here, uh, and charge this wall, but no, this one doesn't look breakable. 
and it's not breakable. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Autumn Plains, we still need to go to Shady Oasis to do a little bit more. Uh, I actually forgot about that. Uh, let's just travel there nice and quick. Um, I want to do this all in one video just so we can get this area wrapped up and move on to Winter Tundra next video. So it might be a little bit longer than I intended. But yeah, um, we did a bunch of stuff in Shady Oasis already and it was a bit questionably stereotypical Arabian Nights. Um, I mentioned that before. I really don't know why they didn't change that in Reignited. Like, cut down on the racial stereotyping and stuff that the original games had. They should have changed a lot of stuff in Reignited, honestly. Uh, press X to skip for some reason. Like, the, the top button on this controller. I don't know. The other buttons on the controller don't work. It's a weird design decision. Okay, so we have to do this quest again in order to get to where we actually want to be. So, uh, give you a berry. There you go. That makes you a really big hippopotamus. And then you can just smash through there and keep going. And it's kind of racially insensitive. Um, um, hmm. Okay, so... There are a couple places here that I think we can use our new head bonk. So that's what we're going to be trying to do when we get back to them, which is taking a bit of a while. Um, yeah, over there, you can see that little... I think I managed to glide this before. Let's see if I can do it again. Ah. Oh, oh. The thing where I accidentally standing on the, on the air happened again. <laughs> but I didn't actually manage to glide there, which is what I was trying for. Um... I guess I'll bring this berry down for you. Here you go. There we go. I get the impression you're not supposed to be able to do that, but I can do it, so... Yeah, this looks like something you got a head bonk. It is. Okay. <laughs> 400 out of 400. We have all the treasure. We're still missing one orb, which I think we get here. Yeah, I have to head bash, and I need this powered up, so I need to defeat some enemies, which means I probably need to do the main quest a bit more to reactivate it. It was active before. I think it was like an invulnerability power-up or something um, to protect you from the poison water, which is pretty handy. Get some berries. Gotta get some berries. Let's go up these steps. Oops. Accidentally cancelled my flight instead of fluttering, which is not ideal. Why is it doing that? It should be doing that. A little, little extra flutter. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the controls for fluttering are a bit questionable. Um, they were the same in the original, so I'm not sure why they didn't mess with it a bit in this game to make it more reasonable. Because you're gliding with the bottom button on the controller, right? Which is the B button here. And you flutter by pressing the X button, which is the top button. You also head by pressing that button, so... The controls don't make a whole lot of sense. You gotta move your hand around the whole controller quite a lot. It seems like you should be able to just, like, double tap this button in the air or something to get the flutter, rather than... Pressing it once your gliding does nothing, which is what happens. Hmm. Okay, I've nearly taken out enough monsters, or bad guys, or whatever, to activate the, the portal power-up. There we go, it'll be active now. I'm just gonna keep going through here, because we're here, may as well. What are you doing all the way over there, Hippo? Do you need to be big to cross the... like, stuff? Or... Okay, no, you just need me to be close. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so then I just spit that up there. Pew. To bring down a little berry for you. 
or a cherry, I guess. It looks like a cherry. I'm pretty sure they call it a magic berry, but it's not. Cherries are not berries, they are cherries. That's why they have different letters. Okay, uh, and then we can get to up here. And then they give us the talisman, which is a magic lamp. There we go. And then all we gotta do is go down there and do that orb quest, and we are done. Okay, um, so we had to get shielded, and then we gotta look for some rock. Okay, I see. I'm guessing this is, this is another time-limited thing. If we don't hit him real fast, we're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, it's exactly the same as the previous one that we just did with the with the with Hunter shooting the rock guys. This is the same quest. Only we have to go back and refresh our charge every couple of seconds so we don't die. Which makes it worse, obviously. I'm not sure why they're like this, but they're not good. <laughs> Six. Okay, at least there aren't too many, so it shouldn't take long. Well, it's an orb. It's similar to a rock. Okay. And we're done here, right? Right? Yeah, okay, cool. <sighs> and that's everything for Autumn Plains. Um, except the speedways, and I'm not doing the speedways. Because speedways are the worst. <laughs> I'm guessing the game will ask me to do the speedways, but it's not happening. No speedways. <laughs> okay, 100% level complete. Yep, looking good. Except for the speedways. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna go to Winter Tundra, and we're gonna get Winter Tundra done. Um, I don't know anything about it besides the fact that it's winter and is the tundra. Um, so I don't really know what to expect, but yeah, we're gonna go into one of the levels in Winter Tundra next video, and it's gonna hopefully be awesome. Thanks for this video of lots of backtracking once we learned how to head bonk from Goombella. Which is definitely what happened. Thanks, Goombella. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Bye!